Okay, a very important concept that uh, you need to know in uh, percentage is this higher purchase. Okay, what does higher purchase mean? Actually, higher purchase means buying something on installment. So nowadays you see a lot of things that they say, oh, zero dollar, zero percent interest installment. Why is it like that? It's because when we want to buy something that is very, very expensive, for example, this computer that costs 2490 okay, we usually, we, if we do not have the money to pay $2,490. Okay, we have to buy and we, we we need to buy this computer, we can buy it on a higher purchase scheme. Okay, so higher purchase means to do it by installment. Okay, installment. Uh, I that means paying monthly. For how long? For depends on the question. Now this before we talk about this question okay so let me remind you on the concept of this higher purchase so this part is the concept part huh? so today there's this computer uh, maybe a laptop okay so a Sony laptop all right that costs this amount 2490 okay now how much do you need to pay to bring this laptop back you only need to pay the deposit of 30% okay so what happens to the other 70 percent okay so the shopkeeper is not just going to let you pay 30 percent and bring home because the shopkeeper needs the money to run his business so 70 70 percent you need to go and borrow it from the bank all right now when the bank lends you money always remember when you borrow money from people not just the bank when you borrow money from people you need to pay interest okay and this is how okay this is how the questions is being structured so when you have you have interest okay is equals to your prt over 100 okay so how 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 to find how much do you have to pay is the installment okay man is it always equals to your principal principal is the amount you borrow plus the interest okay divide by the number of months okay then you find out M M T H R. then you find out one month you need to pay how much okay so in this case a deposit of 30 percent is being paid and then the remaining is to be paid in monthly installment over two years a very good practice of doing finance question a very good practice of doing um, simple interest interest questions is you have to write down the acronym uh, the alphabet that represents it so two year represents the time okay simple interest this represents the rate okay now what do you need you need your p okay so today i pay 30 percent i can bring this laptop home how much did i borrow from the bank so my principal is equals to 70 over 100 okay times 2490 okay which is equals to you know that uh, during the equation i will never ever write my units units are not to be written in the equation okay units are only written as the final answer okay so today i borrow 1743 dollars from the bank the amount that i've borrowed to bank borrow from the bank is called the principal so i put it into my simple interest formula which is one seven so, okay i should actually write the formula again so that y'all can remember p r t over hundred okay so for the purpose of um, being able to see the question i will just write my equal here which is not the correct practice the correct practice should be writing the equal below pr is 3.5 okay the time is two years over 100 okay input this into your calculator you will be able to get times two okay one hundred and twenty two dollars and one cent now remember this is only the interest okay so a, 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 a common mistake that students do is they forgot that you know whatever amount that you borrow you need to pay back to the bank as well so the you know you can split them up you can write okay so this is a total amount borrowed okay equals to one seven four three 
plus 122.01 which will give you equals to 1865 dollars and one cent now what would be your monthly installment so this is how you write monthly okay installment equal total you borrow one eight six five point zero one right okay and they say it's to be paid over how long is to be paid over two years so in two years how many how many months are there you can you so for the purpose of working you can always do this two times twelve because there's two years of twelve months okay and it's equals to 77.71 money you must always put to 2 dp okay and nothing else even though even if it's let's say 77.7 .7 as the answer you have to put it at 77.70 .7 because money must always be in two decimal place all right